Today's video is going to be different. We're going to keep the editing to a minimal today because today's video is going to be about minimalism. I've always been someone that likes to keep a lot of things like receipts or small things to remember and have memories of. But one day I came across minimalism on YouTube and I decided to try it out because it just made sense to me. Minimalism is to keep things simple and to avoid the unnecessary. You can avoid having mess in your house or in your room in my case by just having less things and throwing away what you don't really need. So one day I opened up these wardrobes and threw a lot of things away. By by the end of it, I had about four bags of just stuff I didn't need anymore or that had no use to me. I was never extreme about it though. I kept a lot of things that had emotional value to me like pictures or just old stuff that I had in videos. And after I did this, I felt better. My room was tidier, I had less things and less to worry about. You cannot have a messy room if you don't have the objects to mess it up with. This bedroom last year was very empty and very tidy. It was literally just the bed, the bedside table and a chair. I also applied this method to clothes as well and I threw away so many clothes that originally I had two bedside tables. Now I only have one and I was planning to get rid of it completely so that all my clothes they would be in my wardrobe. I kept up with minimalism from 2018 to 2021. I think very slowly I started collecting things again for example, rings and hats. If you think about it, I don't need all of these hats or all of these rings. In fact, I don't need any of them to be honest since the only purpose is to look good. If I really had to keep just one, I would keep this one, which is the most important one to me, I guess. And all of these hats, I don't need, I don't even know how many hats I have. If I had to pick one or two, I'd just pick those two. Clothes again, I don't need so many shirts and so many pieces of clothing. Just a few black and white shirts will do and one pair of trousers is fine, one jacket and one pair of shoes. Now this is how I used to be in the past, but of course I've changed because I said it so many times, changing is good. So I've changed my mind and took a break from minimalism. The only times that I'm a minimalist is when I travel. That's when I pack the most essential things that I need. I never overpack. I always use everything that I bring with me. And mentioning traveling, whenever I leave the house with just my keys, for some reason I feel very very good. Whenever I leave my phone, my earphones, my wallet, my beard comb, my ring box, all these essentials that I said in my what's in my bag video. If I leave the house with just one item with me, the most essential one, I feel so good and minimalism really made me think of what I really need in my life. And the biggest thing that I realized was my phone or more importantly the internet. One summer I was away and I will always remember this, I was without internet for two weeks by choice. And during that time I felt very good and connected with Earth. Then after two weeks I went back online and I stayed on my phone for one whole hour disconnected from reality. I remember I was hanging out with people and I just felt like I was not there. And at one point they were asking me like is everything okay and I couldn't hear them. They had to tap on my shoulder because I was so focused on this small thin object. The following summer I did the same but instead of two weeks I did two months and I felt amazing. I learned a lot about myself and what I wanted in my life. It wasn't too extreme though, I still had my phone and laptop, I was just living offline. And that was when I realized that if it was really up to me, I would not have any type of social media apart from YouTube. I don't think I could ever be able to do extreme minimalism, I just see it as a waste of space. I have this big wardrobe right and it's so organized right now, but if I really think about it, there's not many things I really need in here. My computer setup, it's amazing but I don't really need two monitors. In fact, I don't even need the computer at all. But this isn't just about objects or clothes for me. I applied minimalism also to the digital world. I spent like two whole weeks in the summer just deleting all files and things I didn't need anymore and I ended up clearing about one and a half terabytes of things that I didn't need. So usually what I did was every two weeks I would empty my phone so that everything would be neat and tidy in every folder on my computer. But since last year, I haven't done that. I haven't organized any files and now I have a folder on my computer that's literally called Brian get your things together. But I think slowly over time I'll get back into it and I'll get everything neat and tidy digitally and physically. However, that's gonna be quite hard. You see, I've kept a secret. Over the past year, I started collecting things from my childhood and online, which of course I don't necessarily need, but they only have one use to me, and that is to bring me joy every time I see them. I present you my secret collection of things.
that is the main reason why I'm not a minimalist anymore. And I love it. I will of course be showing this in another video. But as I said for my ring collection, I said that it feels very complete, as do my hats. And as does this, of course over the years, I'm gonna keep buying another hat. I'm gonna keep buying another ring. And now these things, even if I don't need it, I like having it. But yeah, this was my experience as a minimalist. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.